William from the Average Dry Cigar Channel. Today we're smoking the CAO Brasilia. I'm not impressed with this cigar at all. I'm going to say that right off the bat. This will be the fourth one that I've had. All of them have been the exact same flavor, which is not a bad flavor. It's just not a great flavor for me, personally. Alright, this cigar is a full body cigar. Brazilian wrapper, Nicaraguan long fillers. Is a six by sixty and eight by fifty eight, a five and a half by fifty five box pressed, uh, as small as a four by thirty eight. We're having the uh, five by fifty six, I believe, is what we got today. Uh, it's a full body cigar, Brazilian wrapper, and uh, we're going to continue the reviews. We'll let you know what we're doing. So this is the fourth one that I've had. I would probably only smoke this cigar if it was free at a party somewhere because it's I spent I think fifteen dollars getting five of them and I would not do it again. So it's not that it's a bad cigar for you, it's just not a great cigar for me. So that's just my little take on it. I'm about that far into it right now. We'll come back to it a little bit in a little a little while and see if it got any better or if it got worse. So stay tuned, we'll be right back with you in a little bit. And this is William from the Average Dry Cigar Channel, back from part two of the CAO Brasilia review. I've smoked this cigar down about that far, maybe an inch and a half, if that. It's it's a consistent cigar, but it's just kind of bland. It doesn't have a lot of flavor, it doesn't it doesn't it, it doesn't jump up and bite you. It just it's kind of there. It's like all oh, smoking a cigar. Whoop de do. Um, I wouldn't buy any of these again. I don't plan on buying these ever again. Like I said before, I would smoke one if somebody gave me this cigar to smoke. And that's probably it. So, this is the last of the five pack that I bought, and I'm done with them. Dad, what do you think about it? Uh, I think it's a decent cigar. I mean, for a $3 cigar, it's not bad. doesn't have really knock your socks off flavor, but it's got a good consistent flavor. If you like it to start with, you're going to like it throughout, I believe. I'm about halfway through mine. Uh, I like the, the, the ring gauge is good. It's got a good feel. Really good construction. Burns nice and even. One of the best burning cigars I've had in quite some time. Not a real intense flavor. It's not an objectionable flavor. It's pretty good. I'd pay three bucks for another one, uh, but that's just just my opinion. So. And the the, the one cat got to what I said was that it has a lot of smoke. Well, you're going to have that. The bigger the ring gauge cigar, the more smoke you're going to have. So that's true. So and one little comment uh, here. You notice the background of the video looks a little different than it did last week. We've uh, working our cigar shed here. We got some sheetrock up or drywall, whatever you prefer. Gonna be priming that today, painted this week. So next week, y'all have another new look at it. So we'll be back in a few minutes with the conclusion of the video. Thanks. Hey there, Average Guy Cigar Channel. This is William with the wrap up of the CAO Brasilia. It's a very consistent cigar, and it's just not for me. I keep saying that, and it's true. I don't really enjoy this cigar. So, you're welcome to try it out if you like a medium to full body cigar. I don't find it that full. I find it more like, a, at most, a, a solid medium, and that's it. So, Dad, you got any thoughts? I think it's a medium cigar. I, I, I agree with you that it's not a full body cigar. Not to me, anyway. Uh, construction's good. Smoke's good. Uh, burns evenly. It's a decent cigar, not a great cigar. Uh, so it's definitely a three dollar cigar. So you know, if uh, you know, put three dollars into a cigar and try one, maybe I, if you like a medium, Will doesn't care for it. I, I don't know that I go out of my way to buy one, but if I saw them on sale, I might try a couple more. Uh, everybody's got their own taste. So it's uh, on a scale of one to ten, it's about a five for me. Maybe would, maybe wouldn't. Will's a definitely not a. His is like a one or a two on a scale of ten. So uh, just take it for it's worth. Appreciate you checking in with us. Click like at the bottom of the screen if you like the video. Send us any questions or comments. And we'll see you next time. Also, check out our Facebook page, Average Guys Cigars. Thanks for checking in. Have a good one, y'all.